Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are going to discuss about the transit of Mercury into the sign of Libra, which is happening till 24th of October 2019. And after that, it will just enter Scorpio and it is also going to be retrograde. So this is a very uh, important transit because this is a transit which is happening just before it it is about to go retrograde and it is uh, mercury is going to re-enter libra after retrogression and uh, then again of course next month it is again going to be direct and that's how the motion is uh, libra to scorpio to libra again so what what happens when a planet uh, enters libra so libra is a very peculiar sign whenever a planet enters libra there is something related to that planet which you are forced to do but you don't want to do or there is something related to that planet which you know you should be doing but uh, you know that that will not be uh, appreciated by others or how to do that which you want to do and still not hurt others so that's the challenge with libra so now mercury had entered libra some days back and now venus has just entered today to libra and therefore this uh, transit is going to be very crucial because the dispositor of libra is with mercury so now mercury is not alone which means now the houses ruled by mercury is getting um, combined with the houses which are ruled by venus depending on your ascendant so it's it seems very complicated but i will try to make it simple and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit then please go down to the website in the description section down below of my videos and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and also what happens to you will depend on the dashas that you are running as i always keep saying so just check which dashas you are running so now what is what is mercury now mercury two things are there mercury is inherently mercury <laughs> but as mercury in your chart it is also the lord of two houses and we all know mercury lords gemini and mercury also lords virgo so therefore you need to see the houses which mercury rules so for example if you are a leo lagna for example then which houses mercury rules in your chart depending on your ascendant not moon sign or rashi okay so mercury rules the second and the eleventh house these two houses so that means there will be something related to these two houses which you will communicate with somebody who who with whom with those who are represented by these two houses okay so could be family and friends could be anybody because the second and the eleventh represent so many things, a million things. All right. So therefore, somebody related to these two houses, you will communicate with, and you will tell them that, my dear sir, my dear madam, uh, this video is got blurry. Yeah, now it's back again. So you will tell them that, my dear sir, my dear madam, I have this challenge ahead, and I know that. I should behave this way now there are two ways in Libra when a planet transits Libra you will always see you will have mm, two options because Vishakha Nakshatra falls in Libra and passes to Scorpio so in Libra what you will see is you will have two very lucrative options they're very attractive options which means uh, you will feel as if I can do two things simultaneously at a time but gradually, as you start doing both the things together, uh, you will realize that uh, it's not my cup of tea. You cannot, we cannot stand on two boats simultaneously. That's not possible. If you do that, then we will, will be no more. So that means we have to, we are forced to make a decision regarding uh, Mercury and the houses which Mercury rules. But now there are two alternatives. One alternative is either you don't choose any of the paths. And the other alternative is you choose one of them. 
and what happens in libra when a planet transits you will realize initially <clears throat> first you will take the first route which means you will try to walk on both the boats and then after some time you will feel that i can't walk so therefore what you will do you will not start walking in one of the boats you will withdraw from both the areas and then you will feel that no i will not go to either of the boats because either i stay out of it or i do two things at a time but the thing is as you keep staying there staring at these two boats and not going and jumping to either of them you will realize very soon that you can't stay there for very long this means you must choose one of the routes and this will become more prominent in the next um, i would say 10 12 days when mercury enters vishakha then you will see this more so that means what does this mean it means that you will have to narrow down your options and choose one of them but the problem is why why do we feel that we we will stay away from it either totally or we will try to do both why do we feel like this because in libra what happens is we do not want to hurt the other person the other party and therefore now we also because see libra is a rajasic sign rajas means we are always calculative we are always thinking oh he will give me this i will give him this she will give me this i will give her that so in libra because venus is a rajasic planet we know that we venus rules libra he is all rajas but libra is also the sign of balance so therefore we want to satisfy ourselves and at the same time satisfy the other person also because venus is a natural benefit benefics tend to take everybody together and malefics tend to be very independent that is why malefics are known as algavadi which means separative separative means oh suppose for example somebody is getting divorced so for getting divorced a malefic has to be there by conjunction or by dasha or, or by mahadasha antadasha because uh, malefic means either saturn rahu and ketu these three are the prime malefics so when malefics come then they give you a, a fake sense of uh, strength or independence which you get it's a fake, fake sense of independence that yes yes I, you don't need anybody you are strong you are you are great you are the best you are out of the world you are unique you are nobody can challenge you. you you are the king basically that's what rahu's job is rahu eclipses the sun and moon so rahu makes you feel as if you don't need anybody you know you are the king basically you know so the point is uh, venus is not a malefic so venus is the last planet which wants to uh, throw away other people venus doesn't want that venus wants that people stay together jupiter and venus especially including moon and mercury moon and mercury bit uh, conditional but jupiter venus always so therefore now the predicament is you do not want to hurt the other person and you want to also not compromise with your standards so therefore now you have to talk your way out we, mercury is talking communication so that means you have to talk your way out with that person regarding which of the two ways should you select and if you choose one of them how could you not lose out on the other so for example if suppose mercury is your fifth lot then you will see there is something related to your children or your first child uh, which maybe you want to speak something to your first child but uh, you are thinking should i speak or should i not if i don't speak he will or he or she will go astray or uh, if I speak, then he will feel bad, or it can be anything. Or maybe your child is facing a dilemma that I should go to this university or that university, or anything it can be. That will depend on your dasha, of course. And now you are also torn between the two. Which one should I do? Should I tell him to do this, or should I tell her to do that? And therefore, the best thing to do in Libra is uh, we have to get rid of this conception that. Uh, we will always be able to satisfy both the parties that will never happen in libra because if that would happen then uh, it will not be libra libra means balance balance means you are trying to uh, let go of something from both the sides 
all right so if one party is staying like this and the other is staying like this then there is no balance but libra is like coming somewhere in between okay so i want this and you want this so let's try to negotiate so this means uh, suppose mercury as i said is your fifth lord or if even if it's your second lord then something to do with family maybe you have to negotiate and if mercury is your ninth lord then maybe you have to negotiate something with your guru or your father or if it's your 10th lord then maybe boss or 7th lord then your uh, husband or your wife so we have to understand that we will never be able to satisfy both the parties and mercury in libra is a great opportunity for us to see how we can satisfy ourselves at the same time satisfy others and what the issues will be that will depend to some extent on which house libra is in your chart so for example is if libra is your fourth house then um, the houses which mercury lords will be discussing or you will discuss with those people regarding matters of the fourth house so as i said the uh, lordships of the planets are like the agendas so suppose mercury is seventh lord then mercury's agenda is marriage or mar your husband or your wife and suppose mercury is transiting any house suppose third house fourth house fifth house so the agenda of that house the lord ships will go to that house where the transit is happening because now it's like saying physically mercury is transiting that house and that is how you have to learn that how can you uh, negotiate best and you will always see that the reason why this dilemma comes is because uh, you don't want to hurt the other person because venus is not a uh, malefic venus is a benefic that is why you will always want to uh, see that the decisions which you take now will not affect your relationship in the long run and at the same time you have to compromise on something that you want because of because you because you value the relationship more than yourself than your ego and that is why sun gets debilitated in libra because when sun enters libra we we may be forced to compromise with some of the things that we want and then the ego doesn't like that ego the last thing the ego likes is to compromise because compromise in a way is uh i won't say defeat but in a way uh, to some extent it is like a defeat that okay i, I can't be myself 100% now that can be good or bad that's a separate story but the thing is your ideals have to be compromised because you value the relationship more so a compromise is not bad always now but that does not mean you compromise with your principles that that cannot be compromised so suppose Uh, your uh, suppose for example many people have told me that uh, after they watch my uh, they have watched my videos they have left meat so uh, now that that is a principle that you will not kill animals you will not participate in the murder you will not participate in the bloodshed you will not participate in the torture because if you do that then karma will come back to you you will also suffer so now that is your principle that life is sacred so you will not kill animals and neither will you eat them so now suppose your friend suppose mercury is your 11th lord or third lord or seventh lord so your friends are pulling you what should you do should you go or should you not <laughs> so that's the dilemma and the dashas will tell you uh, what what you will end up doing if the dasha is if the dasha is indicating uh, the strength of the trinal lords being very strong then you will be able to negotiate with your uh, non vegetarian friend who is still pulling you provided you are a vegetarian because he knows that oh this this guy used to eat meat once upon a time and now due to some reason due to following some spiritual practices he has just left meat you know just now so i can still pull him to my side okay so now if you say no to him directly then what will happen is you, you the, your friendship will become very cold and he will not like to call you again the next time and if you say yes and you go and you eat then you are compromising on your principles okay so you always have to understand that 
you never have you should never compromise with your principles principles should always be intact but when you, when that planet will enter libra then you you will have to somehow present in a way that your principle is also uh, you use you, you continue to follow your principle at the same time not hurt that other person so you may tell something like okay i will go and you know i will i will have some vegetarian dish maybe pani butter masala or some any manchurian or anything like that okay or i'll have naan or something like or chole bhature but i will not have meat but i will still go with you because you want me to go with you all right so that's like he wants you to go with you or he wants you to come with him and he wants you to eat meat also so now you are somewhere in between i will go but no meat <laughs> all right so do not compromise on your principles and uh, be fixed on them be firm and apart from that to whatever extent you can try to negotiate and try that the relationship still, still sustains okay and because the transit is happening in libra so that person will also feel that okay but you come with me i will eat meat and you eat some veg dish all right so he will also feel that he also should negotiate so the energy will function for both the people it, it will not only happen with you of course these are some imaginary scenarios which i am giving which very frequently happens to people who um are just starting with some spiritual practices all right so if you have started then uh, do not fall back to all the bad habits in the name of libra and in the name of compromising in the name of uh pleasing others all right that will not lead you to and that will not make your life better that will make your life even worse actually all right so understand where you should draw the line without you, you you understand that you you can still be yourself without compromising your principles and still not break the relationship with somebody else all right so that is it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to see this transit and in case you are interested to book a reading with me then you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you so much